given the continued focus on the legacy of Billy Loomis' original Ghostface accomplice, theories suggested that Stu Macker would return in Scream 6. The original Ghostface killers have continued to bear great importance on the franchise, but did Matthew Lillard's Stu Macker actually return in Scream 6? While accomplices Stu Macker and Billy Loomis died at the end of the original Scream movie, their family members and legacy have continued to be involved in subsequent Ghostface massacres. Scream, 2022, revealed that Billy Loomis unknowingly fathered a daughter named Sam Carpenter before his 1996 death, leading Skeet Ulrich's Billy to return in Sam's visions. Following Billy's Scream, 2022, cameo, theories grew about a potential Stu return in future Scream movies. Since a deleted role in Scream 3 revealed Stu survived. There's been much speculation about whether Stu really died or not in the original Scream movie. Consequently, Billy Loomis' return through Sam's visions in Scream 5 caused excitement for Stu Macker's possible appearance to grow substantially a regardless of whether his return was posthumous or not. Considering Skeet Ulrich returns as Billy Loomis' ghost in Scream 6's cast, original ghost face killer Stu Macker was theorized to return in a vision, flashback or surprise survival twist. Debunking many theories, Matthew Lillard's Stu Macker isn't in Scream 6. Stu hasn't truly appeared in the franchise since the original movie, but members of Scream's Macker family tree like Vince Schneider's have been included to pay homage to the iconic character. The big party scene in Scream, 2022, was also set at Stu's house, so his legacy did play an important role in the fifth movie of the franchise. Still, Scream 4 secret survivor Kirby Reed, Scream 5's deceased ghost face Richie Kirsch, and Scream, 1996's long dead ghost face Billy returning for Scream 6 did set up the perfect opportunity for Stu to finally make a cameo. While Stu Macker doesn't return for Scream 6, he is referenced on several occasions. Throughout Scream 6, ghost face killer Quinn Bailey wears Stu's old mask which was acquired from a police evidence lockup by her father Wayne Bailey. Stu also has his own tribute display in Ghostface Killers Wayne Bailey, Quinn Bailey, and Ethan Landry's movie theater shrine, which includes the smash TV that caused his demise in Scream, 1996. Bringing the franchise full circle, Kirby successfully kills Ethan Landry by dropping the same TV that killed Stu on his head. Stu may not appear in Scream 6 but Randy's niece Mindy Meeks Martin isn't convinced that he died. When Kirby says that the shrine includes the TV that killed Stu, Minty responds, if you believe he's dead. Minty, like many real-life Scream fans, believes that Stu is still alive, though Scream 6 gives no indication as to how he may have survived his TV electrocution. Stu's survival would be a massive twist for the Scream movie series, but isn't out of the realm of possibility. Since Scream 6 itself is keeping the Stu survival theory alive, his return in some form in Scream 7 is more likely. While Scream creator Kevin Williamson confirms Stu is dead, he remarked that the character's return is still possible, perhaps following the twin brother theory twist. Stu Macker remains a fan favorite character in the franchise, so his return through any medium would be exciting, but it would more likely be a vision cameo similar to Billy than a surprise resurrection.